It's a scene from the life of St. John Vianney. He arrives as a young priest to Ars, where he'll minister for the rest of his life. And he asks some children, show me the way to the church. I'll show you the way to heaven. It is my hope that our seminarians will have the same attitude and the same disponibility of St. John Maria Vianney. Our campus is very unique. We have two seminaries, St. John Vianney Theological Seminary and Redemptoris Mater Missionary Seminary. We are blessed to have 122 men in formation this year, preparing themselves for the mission to rescue all in Christ. My first memory of feeling called for the priesthood was uh, when I was seven, me and my other siblings, we were brought to the Mass on Saturday night. At the end of the Mass, the priest asked me what, uh, what my name was, so I said Daniele. And he, and he was like, you got the name of a missionary, so you're gonna be a missionary as well. When priests go out on mission to go to the people, that's an imitation of God. The priest is one to go out, and when he does that, God is using them as an instrument, as another Christ, to come into contact with those he has created, those he loves, and those he wants to bring into the wedding banquet, which is heaven. My life in the seminary has renewed my desire to become a priest by the rhythm of prayer. Being in communion with one another, studying together, uh, having adversity together has allowed me to grow a lot as a man and my commitment towards the priesthood. The seminary is equipping me in the sense of forgetting about myself. To look at the other, to look at the needs of the other, many times is what equips me for, uh, for this mission. I think the seminary has been equipping me to be on mission as a priest by the example of the priests here. I think really the inspiration for today that is very similar to the apostolic times is the apostles went everywhere. They didn't stay in Jerusalem and so the church also in this time needs missionaries. All of the apostles witness to the truth by their lives. And I think that this is the key in this time, which is that the people, society, who many don't know Christ, that they may see Christ in the church, a church that loves, a church that forgives, a church that goes to look for them, and, uh, and really this, to offer our life. The goal is to form holy priests. We must remember that the priesthood is not just a job, or a function, it really is a calling to have the heart of Christ, the Good Shepherd. I want to be a priest in which people don't remember me, but they remember Christ. When you support me and my brother seminarians, it gives us an opportunity to study and to pray and to be another Christ here on this earth, to serve you eventually as priests. And with your support, you also take part in the mission. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. We invite you to participate with us in the vital mission of forming holy priests for the future of the church. We can't do it without you. Please join us in collecting items for the Thanksgiving food drive. The items collected will be used to create a Thanksgiving meal bag for those in need. The shopping list can be found on the website and paper copies are outside the nursery doors. The Knights of Columbus will be collecting orders with payments after all Masses November 9th and 10th and the 16th and 17th. The donations for wreaths are $15 each. This past May, Cabrini Prishner spiritually adopted over 200 unborn babies in danger of being aborted and have been praying daily for their baby's safety and for their parents. Our spiritually adopted babies are now six months old. 
They weigh 2 pounds and are about 12 inches in length. Their facial features are very similar to an infant's at birth. Our baby's skin is reddish in color, wrinkled, and veins are visible through the skin. Their nostrils are now open and they are making breathing motions with their muscles. Our babies can clearly hear things outside the womb and will respond to drum beats by jumping up and down. Thank you so much for continuing to pray for your spiritually adopted babies. If you would still like to participate, see the bulletin for details. We will embark on our first ever Cabrini Week celebration. The festivities will begin on Mother Cabrini's actual feast day, which is Wednesday, November the 13th, with an Italian dinner. We ask parishioners to bring desserts to share if you're able. The week will conclude with the timely parish mission presented by Chris Stefanik. Don't forget to pick up your Cabrini Week passport. This is a great time, great celebration. Come join us.